What's up guys? Welcome back to UFC 3. This is the beta. I'm trying to figure out how the judges actually score the fight. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a takedown with Fielder and a submission with Pettis. I want to see which one they give the fight to. The guy who's just going for a submission and you get out on the first gate or the guy who actually took him down. So I'm excited to see. Paul Fielder gets the takedown. Pettis is going to get him in a submission. And Paul Fielder would escape. Now I'm going to stand on both back up. And I'm not going to do anything else the remainder of the round. Just want to see who's going to get the win and who's going to get more points. The guy who earned that takedown or the guy who slapped on a lazy submission just to score some points. So let's find out. I'm going to fast forward the video here and we'll catch up. Oh, right at the end of the last round, I'm not going to skip it. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Takedown with Paul Fielder, submission with Pettis. I'll be right back. Okay, here we are, guys, in the third round. And we're going to see right now who they're going to give the win to. Paul Fielder has three takedowns and one in every single round. And Pettis has three submission attempts, one in every single round. Personally, I think Paul Fielder should get the win. I think he should have a unanimous decision victory because he actually took someone down. He, he did damage with the takedown. You know, he got a takedown. Pettis did nothing but slap on a triangle. So let's see. Unanimous. 30-27. Anthony Pettis. So there you have it, guys. The guys on their back going for these submissions, they're going to be winning rounds even if you took them down. So submissions are above takedowns. Thank you guys for watching. And hopefully you check out this video, you share it, and you see me at the next one. Thank you guys again.